So biggering, am I right? Okay, some of you fellas might not know what I'm talking about or just need a recap, unless some of you might be getting war flashbacks right now. Quick intro, I'm a really sour lemon, or just lemon. I'm an animator from Middle Earth, not the land down under. Anyways, so everyone knows about this song, right? What if I told you that there is an alternative song that got cut from the film called Biggering? It's basically the early version of How Bad Can I Be? And it's like, and I quote, How bad can I be? Is what the once told Ted and Biggering is what actually happened. I'm not gonna do an analysis on this song because so many others have already done it, so go check those videos out yourself. The 2012 Lorax adaptation is an interesting film to say the least. I've watched countless video essays discussing the film and the majority of them boils down to this is a shit film or it could have been better and honestly I agree. This is far from a perfect film and it piqued my interest to go into a rabbit hole of why is it a mediocre film? What made it a failure in terms of story execution? How did the people who made the film feel? And where can I find once the fan up? Anyways, all this research made me come across animatics of the song Biggering. And all were amazing. Each one of them had different interpretations of how it could have been directed, composited, and just, well, animated. So I tried looking for full animations of the song and there was just nothing outside of animatics. So I sat back and thought to myself, hey, I'm an animator studying animation in college. I have the resources to make animation, so why not animate it myself? This was literally around the time the Lorax became popular and a meme again this year on social media, and people were discussing about biggering and how disappointed everyone was that it didn't make the final cut, so this is the perfect opportunity to give the people what they want. In early June, I picked Raffatello's animatic because the vision and the animatics were very clear to follow. I downloaded the animatic and then... This is not the time. This is not the time. I have two assignments due. <laughs> My computer's broken. Yeah, I had to pull some course-related cost funds from my student welfare organization to fix my laptop. I took it to get fixed three times. So I had to halt the beginning production of Biggering until I had my laptop finally fixed and my two animation assignments finished and submitted, which took several weeks. I ended up starting the project in mid-August. And so I started making rough animations for the first 30 seconds of the second half of Biggering. I threw it on YouTube as a, I guess, proof of concept and somewhat got an audience. People actually wanted to see the finished product, so I started posting about it on my Tumblr. Because where else would it be suitable to post once the related content? And people were hyped about what I was doing. Because I've been working on this since August, the process has been a bit slow because I was still working on this while I was still in college, so I had to prioritize working towards my degree. But I'm out for the summer now and currently working on this project full time and even got a team of background artists to assist me in this animation. Here's some of the completed animated shots I worked on. to get this animation done for the 12th anniversary of the Lorax movie on March the 2nd. However, I still have a long way to go with this. So the alternative release date is April 22nd, which is Earth Day, the onceless fanon birthday and also my birthday. <laughs> If you would like to support me in this project and see constant updates on Biggering, I post regularly on my Tumblr. Uh, enter that premise if you're brave enough. 